Welcome to this Bloxo's EDU tutorial video about decorating your game. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to take the art you've made and make your games look even better. We're going to go into Game Builder and we're going to pick this untitled game. Go ahead and open it up and tap on the character to zoom in. This level is undecorated. If you look at this row on the bottom, that is our palette for created art. We can use this quick palette to take anything from this art tab and put down here. You can see the art you've created. You can see art in your class library, and you can see art from asset packs. get started, I'm going to use art from the city asset pack. So I'm going to grab a tile for ground, then you have to go down and tap the box next to it, and I'm going to grab, let's see, I want my collectible coins to be hot dogs, I'm going to have some water, so I'm going to grab a couple of different water tiles. I want my hazard to be steam, so I'm going to grab that. And then a couple characters, I'll grab the mouse and the pigeon. Now to get started, tap the art and the quick palette you want to use, and then just draw on the blocks that are already there. So I'm going to use this gray block for concrete. this water block for the bottom and this water block for the surface. And I'm going to put these hot steam vents right here. And I'm going to use the gray to cover up the bottom since you won't be seeing that. The flying enemies I'm going to turn into pigeons. The coins I'm going to turn into hot dogs. Now I didn't pick anything for the heart or for the action block or for my end flag. So we're gonna go back into the palette and we're gonna look for some stuff to grab. It makes sense for an end flag to be a stop sign because that's where the game stops. So I'll grab that. And for the action block, let's grab this little chunk of concrete that seems to work. And then for our power up, our heart, let's use this fire because it looks kind of cool. So we're going to go back and I'm going to grab this concrete block and turn the action block into that. The stop sign for the end flag and this little flame up top for the heart. Now everything is decorated and you can tell it looks more and more like a game. Now if you tap on your character, it will allow you to pick different characters to play as. I'm going to pick Dwayne. And after you tap on the character you want to use, it gives you the option to put in the background. The background for the city pack looks pretty cool, so I'm going to use that one. Now tap outside the screen, and you'll see that your game is really coming together. Let's give it a play. As you can see, all the stuff that I've created is decorated. Now I can pick up this little action block that looks like a chunk of concrete. I can put it on top of the steam here, and I can jump over it. And the stop sign is our end flag. This is just one portion of one game. You can use this palette at the bottom to put any art that you've created into your games. So be sure to get creative and use your classmates art, your art, and art from the asset packs. That's going to do it for this tutorial. Thanks so much for watching. Have fun out there. I'll see you next time.